Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing the Beautylish Lucky Bag Unboxing for 2022. I am so excited about this box. It just arrived at my door and we're gonna dive into it together. I have not seen any sneak peeks. I have no idea what's inside the box. No, nothing. So everything in here is just a complete mystery, which I am so excited about. Now, if you guys have never heard of the Beautylish Lucky Bags, they go on sale the day after Christmas, which is always really fun because you're still kind of in that Christmassy mood. And they have different boxes. They have two sizes, so they have extra large and large. I bought the extra large, which was 150, and then they have the large for 75. They have light to medium, and I think like medium to deep, something like that. They have like different boxes for a uh, complexion. I think they had like a Jeffree Star Cosmetics box. Anyways, they had a bunch of different ones, but I went ahead and got the extra large box. We're gonna dive into it together. I'm so excited. So this is this year's packaging, and this is so cute, right? I'm so excited. We got two things of stuff in here. in bubble wrap. What I'm going to do without looking is kind of open it up, dump it in there, and then pull them out without looking. Okay, so now let's grab the first product. So the first product we have here is from Good Molecule. This is the Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. And as many of you guys know, you've probably heard me talk about the Good Molecule eye patches. I wear them every single day. Absolutely love, love, love them. They're so much more affordable than other eye patches and they just keep my under eyes so much more hydrated. I'm excited to try this cleansing gel and I would assume that this would be in most bags. You'll at least get one good molecule product in each one of your bags. I don't know, anyway, let's move on. So here we have a towel scrunchie? What? I have never heard of that in my life. Oh, I like this. For sweaty, salty, wet hair. This is actually probably going to be something that I am going to absolutely love. <gasps> Get out. These are fantastic. I didn't even know these existed. They are highly absorbent microfiber fiber material, help reduce heat drying time. Oversized design absorbs even more moisture. Soft microfiber material is gentle on all hair types. Uh, it helps tame, frizz, and reduce hair breakage. Perfect for wet hair on the go, gym, hot yoga, swimming, and beach. Reusable waterproof uh, travel pouch included, and it's a two-piece pack. Yes, these are designed in Los Angeles. I am so excited about these. I am definitely gonna wear the crap out of these, and I didn't even know they existed. This is awesome. Okay, let's continue. Got something in this like black bag here. What is this? So these are a full pack of the unit brushes, which I've never used the unit brushes. I've heard really good things about them. So you get the unit 201, 202, 203, 204, and 205. I'm excited to try these. And I like the little travel patch. They feel really nice. I'm excited. And once I go through everything, I will add it up at the end and let you guys know how much everything is worth, just FYI. Okay, so I got a palette. It looks like this one is from Joey. So this is the Essentials Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. So those are the colors. I don't, and I don't know if I would try it or just give it to my mom or somebody like that, because I, ha I have so many of these palettes with these tones that is it worth keeping? Probably not, you know what I mean? So that's kind of a bummer, especially because is this even a new product or is this kind of an old product? I don't know that much about Joey. I really love their high pigment pearl lip glosses. They're my absolute favorite, but I don't know if this is like an old palette or a new palette, new design, I don't know. But I do have this color story a lot already, so I'm not like super thrilled about it, but it might be something I pass down to my mom or something, you know what I mean? Okay, let's continue. So we got a Essentials Eye Cold Pencil from Wayne Goss. This is in the shade Obsidian. I think the Obsidian is the black, right? Yep, it's Obsidian, which I like his eyeliners. So here's the thing about Wayne Goss eyeliners. I love them on like 
the base of the lashes to kind of really be able to blend them out and kind of smoke them out. But as far as putting them in the waterline, they don't last in the waterline for me. They kind of make a mess kind of all over in my waterline. So for me, it's a perfect pencil and a perfect formula for kind of smoking it out on the lash line, but not the waterline. Um, but I already have the shade in Obsidian, so I'll probably give this to my mom or something because I just don't need it. Okay, let's continue. Oh. Okay, so this is a By Terry Twist On Lip. It's a dual lipstick plump and contour. Oh, okay. So this is from By Terry and it's a dual lip contour. Look at that, I've never seen that before, have you? I didn't even know this existed. No way, it does. So it's basically, it's basically like a lip liner and a color in one. But isn't that a little bit like 90s? Hold on, let's try it on before I get to Let's try it on, why not? By the way, this is in the shade Red and Wine, number five. Okay, so that actually worked. I didn't even know these existed. Yeah, you just have to make sure that the dark's on the bottom for the bottom lip, the dark's on the top, but this is a gorgeous color, right? I quite like this, so I'm gonna leave it on. We'll see how long it lasts. it that's it <laughs> that's it that's it yeah okay so I'm gonna go ahead and add all this up I'll be right back okay you guys so I'm back. Before I give you the math on what was in this box, let me share with you guys my experience last year, which I got a great box last year. I bought the large box, which was 75. The $75 box from last year, everything in that box was worth $187. It was worth over double what I paid for it. It was worth $187. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes, I think it was the blue palette. I got this palette, which is the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize. I actually did a giveaway because I already had it. Uh, so I got a Charlotte Tilbury palette. I got a Sonia G flat definer brush, okay? I got a faux fur brush roll. Um, it like it was like a little brush roller kind of brush holder thing to put your brushes in but it was like a faux fur I got a Lena Chu lipstick which was gorgeous I still have it actually have two other shades because I loved that shade so much I bought two other shades from that brand I got a makeup case holder in the clear which I've used it really love it I took it on vacation it was so nice to be able to kind of see the stuff that was down inside there. I got a Wayne Goss eye pencil in the shade Amethyst. And I got the Good Molecules Exfoliator Toner. So the entire box was worth $187. So that was last year's. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description box down below. It's a great video. So let's go ahead and talk about what's in this box. That was the $150 box. So these hair scrunchie towels, these are worth $18. The Good Molecule Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. This is worth $12. This uh, unit brush set. This is worth $30. The Joie Eyeshadow Palette. This is worth $42 but has a low rating on the Beautylish website. The By Terry Twist on Lip. This retails for $34 and also has a low rating on the Beautylish website. And then the Wayne Goss eyeliners are $14. So my box is worth $150. Everything I got, it's worth $150. So here's my thing. With these beauty boxes, you never know what you're going to get. And they're always hit and miss. Last year, I loved that box because even though I had a few things already in that box. You got a Sonia G brush, you got a Charlotte Tilbury product, um, like really good stuff in that $75 box. That was the reason why I decided to go ahead and get the big box this year. And I don't know why I did. Why not just stick with the $75 box? Because I got $187 worth of stuff in a $75 box last year. This year, I got $150 worth of stuff for paying. And here's the thing. 
you know, I would say the thing that I like the most is definitely these hair scrunchies. We'll kind of see how they work. I've never used them, but I'll kind of play around with them. I think these might be fun for the pool and stuff, but I don't know. I'm just not, I'll, I'll give you, let me just say it straight. You guys know I don't like to fool around with my thoughts. On a scale from one to five, I'm giving this box like a one. I'm just not happy with what I got in the box. There was like nothing like really like stand out amazing because typically you get like one main amazing item. I think the year before I got a few hourglass products that kind of shocked me. I was like, oh my gosh, I got hourglass in here. So, and I'm just not feeling that in this box. This box was a huge letdown. I just, I'm not happy with the box, period. And that's just kind of the luck that you'd get, right? Not everybody's gonna have the same boxes, but I am curious to see what other people get in their boxes. If it's any indication as to what I've gotten, they're not gonna be happy with their box. And um, Beautylish brought it last year and they had some amazing stuff in their boxes. And I remember seeing people who were opening the extra large boxes from last year. And I was like, dang it, I should have got the extra large box because they got such good stuff. But I was okay with it. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's totally fine. But like, this is all in just fun, truly. It's all in fun. But this year, I'm like, wah, wah, wah. Like, this sucks. I'm just going to give it to you straight. This is a waste of money right here. This whole mystery box, waste of money. I look at it like I got so much makeup that I play with and I have so much fun in. If me getting a box that had less fun stuff in it allows somebody else to get more fun stuff in it that maybe doesn't have as much makeup as I do, I'm a happy camper at the end of the day. That in and of itself makes me happy. So that's it for the video, you guys. Stand that down below in the comment section. How many of you guys got a lucky bag. If you got a lucky bag, please let us know in the comment section down below what you guys got in your box. Because I really, really hope that you guys got way better stuff than I did. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.